Let's set up your logic analyzer and pulse view on Ubuntu. We're going to use the terminal and apt-get to install some of the required packages. This requires root access to the machine that you are using, so you need to be able to use sudo. For a full list of packages, please look at the video description. OK, so let's type the following into the terminal to install the packages we need. sudo apt-get install automake libudev-dev Check install. libg lib 2.0 dev. lib ftdi dev. sdcc. python 3 dev. sigrock firmware fx2 lafw. sigrock cli. And finally, pulse view. Whoops, the first time here I put pulse dash view, it's supposed to be all one word. Once that's done, plug the USB cable for the logic analyzer into your computer, then the other end into your logic analyzer. You should see the power LED light up on the logic analyzer. Then using some of the DuPont cables, connect one of the channels of the logic analyzer to the ground pin of the tiny Pico. Now in the terminal, we can open PulseView. However, you may need to be root in order for it to work and see the USB device. So try sudo PulseView. In PulseView, you should see two devices in this drop-down box. Make sure you select the Sale Logic device. Then in the top left, hit the Run button to capture a trace. The channel that you connected to ground with the DuPont cable should appear as a red line on the trace. Great! You should now have your logic analyzer set up and configured correctly.